Good morning from Bakersfield, California. Big Wave is out here. What are we doing? We are headed to Famoso today for a private track rental and we are gonna get that 12. We are not leaving until this car goes 12. All right, so you feeling fast? Feeling fast, um, maybe not so much after we grab breakfast, but I'll try and keep it light. Mm -mm. Good morning to us. You can't, you can't eat it. You gotta keep you light for the race. You can eat after. You can eat after the race. We gotta keep you light. You gotta get. You want that twelve or not? How bad do you want it? I'll eat this for you, and you can eat after the race. <laughs> We just pulled up to Famoso here and we're getting the car unloaded and into race trim. We are parked here with the Gormans and with our friend Butch. He's got a 55 in this trailer. And then this is his girlfriend Megan's car. Super cool, it runs eight. So we're pitted with these guys and there's her dad's car in that trailer. So we're gonna get set up here and get ready to do tech inspection. Big Wave is in full race trim now, complete with banana pipes. Okay, Olivia's about to get her car blessed by Racers for Christ. much better. Matt is uh, with Racers for Christ and it's just so great that he's out here at all the like test and tunes and everything blessing all the race cars and uh, he's gonna get me a sticker like an official 2023 one so yeah. I'm happy I feel good. All right. So, cool that's a nice sticker. Right? Oh it's cool it's got a helmet. Right? They're really cool. Where are you gonna put it at? I think either should I do it like on the vent window or like it's up to you. There we go. Okay guys, we just went through tech inspection and this is so nice because as you can see, there's no lineup so we can just keep making hits. But uh, I'm just gonna try my launch a little differently. DA is supposed to be really good today. Uh, Mark is checking it out for me. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna send it. Maybe we can get that 12 right off the bat. Let's see. Yeah. All right, Olivia's going for her first pass. Let's see what she can do. Maybe she can get that 12 on her first try. Oh, that was a lot faster. 
faster than I was thinking she was gonna go. Okay, well, she made that look easy. You spun, maybe you have to do a burnout. Okay. <laughs> Are you kidding me? You got yourself a 12 second car. I'm 1270. Oh my god. <laughs> that went a lot faster. What was the mile an hour? 109. Oh my gosh, that's like a good 12. That's not like a 1299. <laughs> I'm so happy. Uh, the phone, I was like saying in the car, the phone went flying oh, on that launch. And I was like, if that's not a 12, I don't know. Let's pack it up. We're Let's done. Go. Let's go back to the beach. <laughs> We're done. Oh, uh, congratulations. Thank you so much, baby. Best crew chief right here. He <laughs> totally guided me on. Well, wow. You just I'm so happy for you. Thank you. This is um, totally you did spin just a little bit off the line, so maybe it I would be worth it. doing a burnout. Wow, big wave. Wow, 12-7. When I pulled into the pits, Danny was so like straight faced. I was like, I was like, what did I do now? I was like, I bet you it spun and it killed my time. 12-7, baby. <laughs> Good job. Thank you. What's going on? Butch let me borrow his helmet. So, so crew chief race. is lining up. Yeah, let's see if I can beat your time. Probably will. <laughs> You're a better driver. <laughs> but hang on, you're heavier. It's an automatic and I ate a full stack of pancakes this morning. That's true. This will be my second time going down the drag strip, actually. Really? Yeah. So you have actually a lot more experience than I do at the track. On the street, a little different it's a little different yeah but um uh, not gonna lie i might be a little rusty on like the whole light christmas tree thing that they got going on here it's all right but it, once it's green i'm just gonna go that's it don't worry about your reaction time you're racing yourself if there's one thing i know when it's green yeah go yeah go <laughs> technically you leave on the last yellow technically but Let's see if this helmet fits first off they, they are tight though, so don't let that fool you. Oh, I think we're good. You got it? Heck yeah. You look good with that. Yeah. You just need a matching fire suit. We got a race car driver right here. Right. We'll go 12.5. You got this. All right, I'm about to make my first pass in Big Wave. This is the second pass I've ever done at a drag strip. Well, let's see what happens. Oh, big wave. You me now, buddy. Place your bets now if he's gonna run faster. I think he will, especially with a burnout. Since I've ran at the drag strip. So, whoo, it's hot. 
Well, I think that made it all worth it right there. Olivia ran her 12. I don't know what I ran, but that was a blast. It was definitely worth the two hour drive out here and the two hour drive home. So, just feeling really good about this. How did we do? 12.99? Man, it was that big stack of pancakes. <laughs> no, I was gonna say that's amazing. Your first pass ever in this car and you already ran a 12. Yeah. <laughs> that's really good. It's an easy 12 second car right here. I think if you just hot lapped it again, I think you could do a little better than that. How did you feel about the, the burnout and launch? Uh, the burnout, actually, I was expecting, it was spinning like quite, a, like, I know it's a burnout, but I wasn't expecting these tires to like spin out of the burnout. Yeah. Like that. Yeah, you did a pretty gnarly one. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that. So, <laughs> oh, that was surprising. And then the launch, I think I could have held the brake a little bit more. Okay. And like pressed up against it with the throttle a little bit more to shock the tire a little bit. But it didn't spin, did it? No, I was going to say it didn't sound like it. it. I don't know if it felt like it did, but um, the 60 foot was just a touch slower than mine. So, I think that's the only thing that yeah. like killed it there. Well, but, I mean... I'm I'm happy with the 12, so. Your first pass and it's a 12. <laughs> yeah, I could probably push against the brake a little bit more with the throttle, but. Do you want to give it another go? Um, I think, you know, I'm happy with that, but I think you should drive it because you're, you're like 100 pounds lighter than me. You're like the jockey, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. You're like the jockey. The higher driver. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was fun. Nice. We have the track all day long, so you might as well see how fast you can go with your car and then, um, you know. After that, then I'll get in the seat if we feel like it. Okay. All right, I'm suited up for my second pass of the day. I'm gonna do try and do everything the same way. Uh, only difference is I'm actually gonna do a burnout this time because I spun ever so slightly. Here's your second pass. How was this? I'm consistent. Wow. What was your reaction time on your first, or I'm sorry, what was your 60 foot? I think it was literally a 1.966. Oh, so it's losing a little bit on the top. Maybe the DA is changing a little or it's getting a little warmer. It's getting a little warmer. Or, you know what, the engine was actually a little hotter before the first run. Yeah, maybe it needs so, more heat in the motor. Maybe a little bit more heat in the motor, <laughs> or I don't know. Wow, it's consistent. 12.758, that's so cool. Yeah. I'm just like over the moon right now. Like I have a 12 second street car, baby. <laughs> with the rolling burnouts. <laughs> just handed me the slip. I ran a 12.855 at 108. So 
I can definitely see that the 60 foot is where it counts and uh, just gonna keep practicing. This is so much fun. We can basically hot lap the cards, make as many runs as we want. I just love testing tunes. All right, we're assessing these time slips here and we're progressively going a little bit slower and that part of that is due to the weather changing, I think. But also we're gonna try something a little bit different with the way that she's foot braking the car. Um, she's going to try to hold the brake down a little bit harder and then um, as she puts the throttle down, she's gonna try to hold onto the brake just a little bit longer before she releases her foot off that brake. Yeah. And that should cause the converter to go up a little bit higher and hopefully, you know, bring the 60 foot times down because right now your best 60 foot is what? One... Uh, one, nine, six, six. That's your best 60 foot. So if we can get that down, we'll get this down. Yeah. So I'm just gonna quickly get in the car. So practicing, practice let's see, let's see it, let's see it. How are you gonna do it? Ready? Yep. Dude, a one more time, delayed. that was a little slow. Oh, gotta be quicker. No, you gotta leave break down a little bit. What do I know? I almost ran a 13. <laughs> All right, here we go for my fourth pass of the day. Uh, gonna just try leaving a little differently and we'll see how it goes. Okay guys, here is the pass. So I had, once again, like this was my best 60 foot, like that I ran in my personal best was a 1.966. And I went 12.797 at 109. So mile an hour is back, 900 slower. All right, so we're here in Megan's trailer and she was just teaching me a little bit about the DA. So when we made our first pass, which was my personal best, um, sorry, I'm trying to point here. Um, the DA was 1268, currently it's 1642. So that kind of explains then why I'm running the same 60 foot, but slower. And then um, she also told us another thing to take a look at would be dry density. And then also the humidity change. Although it looks like it's getting less humid, but that is something to look at. Yeah, that's a pretty good tool to have. That's awesome. Yeah, they have a weather device and everything. So very useful info and they're bracket racers. So this helps a ton. So I don't know if we're actually gonna go any faster today now that the altitude's changed, but I am gonna give it another go and just try and trick the car here and do the launch that I set out to do. So. Yeah, if you can bring your 60 foot down, then that would bring your quarter mile down. Yeah. So I, they were talking about uh, the Two. second digit of your 60 foot, the second the digit, there. the hundredth. If you can lower that by two, then that would equate to a tenth yeah. on your quarter mile right here. Yeah. So, so if, if this was a four, yeah. a nine four, then this would be a uh, 12 six, nine yeah. seven, right? Could be, that's kind of the goal. So if you can get this to a, a nine four instead yeah. of a nine six, we're gonna see what we can do. Maybe it's the technique that's holding us back. Maybe I can improve it, or maybe now, you know, the heat of the day's got us, so that's as fast as we're going. But regardless, I am so stoked to be running consistent 12s out here. So we're gonna 
bring it into the lanes and give it a go. Maybe we should take the hood off. Or the air cleaner. Air cleaner. I'll take the air cleaner should off. Should we give that a go on this pass? We can. I think you should try your converter deal, your converter tricking. Okay. And then, and if then? that don't work, I'm going to pull off the air cleaner, the hood, the trunk oh lid, the bumper. No, uh, we're yep. good. We're good. going to ice down that intake manifold. <laughs> Get this thing into the low twelves, baby. <laughs> I think this is just going to be my last pass of the day. I don't want to beat this thing up too hard. i uh, just going to make another little adjustment here. And then we're going to put it back in street trim and go celebrate with some beers. Go. 12742. I'm happy with that. At 109 miles an hour. Hey, that's pretty good. I like you can't expect too much more out of it really. No. It's, it's, just, it's it is what it is, it is, you know. That's 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 the fastest we can get out of it. I'm I'm thrilled. So I think Big Wave can officially retire as a race car now and just go back to being my daily. <laughs> So we're gonna put him back into street trim and then get on out of here, grab some drinks. Celebration you ready? is in order. <laughs> oh, look at the bar. Oh, heck yeah. Nobody's here, it's all to us. Wait, is anyone working or is it closer? Oh man, we can pretend, right? Have a seat. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'll take an 805, please, and uh, one margarita for my lady. Thank you. What else they got? They got Budweiser. Ew. Oh. Bud Light Wolf. Ultra. Ew, a Bud and... Seltzer? Yuck. Wait, Bud Light. Why do they only have Bud? Chilada, Jalisco, and 805. They, oh. need, an they need like an IPA here. Yeah, they do. <laughs> Cheers.
336. Uh, oh my, ancient scale. Did you already try to do this before? I tried it, but I don't fully understand. Okay, so 3,500. Okay, so it's less than that. This line, I think, needs to go more in line with this one. But that's not that far off. I mean, I could move this over just a touch. It's basically 3,350 pounds. There's no way. I thought it'd be so much heavier. Well, we don't have any inner fenders. You got the skinny wheels on it. Yeah. I mean, how much did we save with the wheels alone? And no exhaust. Okay, that's true, but I don't know. I just... <laughs> I mean, it's this under 3,500 pounds. That's crazy. With a full tank of gas, it's pretty much 3,500 pounds. Yeah. Wow. Okay, big wave. Okay. Kind of neat. This thing's so like. Yeah, I like it. Ancient. Come on in. That's right, your own risk, baby. Oh, heck yeah. Oh, I'm ready for an ice cold one. Oh, wow, look at all the autograph stuff. Go straight. There's, there's like everything. Okay. This is so cool. Oh, I need to come back here with my boots. He wants to be pampered. He wants to make sure that they have everything. You better get married to mommy. <laughs> you think she's going to pamper you? Since eight years. Well deserved. It's a two years. Yep. <laughs> Crew chief is thirsty. <laughs> got an open tab, so we're gonna. <laughs> no, we're not getting too wild. We still got to drive back, but just some ice cold beers just really hit the spot. Yeah. So we're really proud of the car, and I think that's gonna be it for big wave and racing. Not saying it'll never go racing again, but like it did what I wanted it to do, so now it can just go back to like being my daily. Retired. Yeah. Officially retired. Yeah. We're gonna have to build another car to go racing with and the charger is coming up next that's for sure and then after that Chevelle. Chevelle. and then after that maybe another car for me 
so we'll see but yeah thank you guys so much for watching um we will see you guys later oh. whose pontiac is that gto oh whose is that all right guys here is the situation I accidentally locked the keys in the car. I take full responsibility, um, but it is what it is. We locked the keys in the car, so now we have to figure out how to get into the car. I have, okay, I got these keys. I can try everything that I have on here. Okay. And these older cars, sometimes other keys work for them in my experience okay we'll try that first okay let's try another big issue how low is your battery my phone is at nine percent nine percent yours is at 15 15 percent another issue <laughs> she's a sober driver and uh uh crew chief slash master mechanic it's a little is not a little tipsy so, so i'm dd this is the problem right now uh, crew chief, it's not working. Plan B. We need to find a piece of metal, like a long piece of metal rod or something like that. Where? Like a clothes hanger. Possibly. Where? There's a, uh, a laundromat around here, or dumpster. Oh, here, your trash can. You gonna jump in the dumpster or what? Do we sacrifice my dipstick? I don't think it's stiff enough. Okay. I might owe you a new wiper. Probably do, because <laughs> that was you. Please don't break. Please don't break. Okay. I can't believe this is my Cowboy Palace experience. See? Oh my gosh. Please work. <laughs> You're welcome. Well, <laughs> you owe me a wiper. Huh? You owe me a new wiper. No, 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 no. I don't owe you a new wiper. I'm going to fix it. <laughs> Isn't that a no? I'm going to fix it. Are you nuts? It appears the... Crew chief slash master mechanic has succeeded. Did you just? <laughs> it's got a little kink to it. I'm DD now. Oh, yeah, for sure. That feels so good. Oh, guys. We're on the road. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. <laughs> Can we go get dinner now? Yeah. Okay. <laughs>